What do you dream about? No, I don't mean when you're asleep. I mean the dreams that you have, those things that are beyond your imagination. Maybe they're even impossible. Hi, I'm Francis Boyd, and these are D-Vlogs. <laughs> A lot of the things we have today started out as dreams. Somebody somewhere imagined it and created it. Things that would have been considered totally impossible are completely common for us today. We talk on cell phones and fly around airplanes and think nothing of it. But at first, these things were not common. They were extraordinary. And our dreams are just like that. Sometimes we can't even imagine how they'll happen or if we can do them. But when we dream, we allow ourselves to imagine the extraordinary ideas we have inside of us. No matter how big our dreams are, God always wants to be involved in them. In the book of Nehemiah, it talks about how Nehemiah had this amazing dream to build the wall of Jerusalem. As soon as he hears that the wall was destroyed, he fasts and prays to God. Because Nehemiah was the king's servant, he asked him for permission to go back to Jerusalem. And eventually he gets there and begins the rebuilding. Even when he steps out and gathers the people, there are many who say that it can't be done. But even with all the opposition, they stay focused on rebuilding the wall. And soon, Nehemiah's dream becomes reality. Ephesians 3.20 says, God can do anything far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. The reality is that our dreams are important to him. And our dreams don't have to be hindered by what people say or our own logic or our own thoughts. We have to be able to look beyond what we're seeing and imagine the impossible. Maybe we've forgotten some of our dreams, but they're still there in our hearts waiting to be discovered. Even if it's something we dreamt of when we were really little, or something that's completely impossible and we have no idea how we're gonna accomplish it. There's nothing too big for God. My challenge for you today is to write down one dream. Just write down one thing that you imagine yourself doing, even if it's totally impossible. And ask the Holy Spirit why he gave you this dream. Let me pray with you guys. Father, I thank you for all the amazing dreams that you've given us. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have plans and destinies for each and every one of us. And I just ask today that you would help us, even if it's difficult for us to write them down or to think about them, that you would just help us to write the vision down and to just take these things to you. And Father, I just thank you that you put in us creativity and imagination, and you put in us these dreams deep within our hearts that they can only really be accomplished by you. Join us next time on D-Vlogs. <laughs>